Hello and welcome, my name is Michael Langdon and today what I wanted to do is kind of go over how you would determine whether or not a website was a valid place for getting information. So this is a website from the Center for Education Reform. Um, it was actually a website um, that was brought up on an NPR news story about a charter school in New Jersey. So these people were quoted in the NPR article so I wanted to come to their website to see why they would be considered an expert and if they are experts so this is the Center for Education Reform so the first thing I would do is I would probably look for an about page okay this would tell us about who they are and what they are so there's nothing really here press box news releases issues school choice get active so there's nothing really there so actually you find it down here so here's about CER and um, so it drives the creation of better education through its storehouse of data and unique insights minds of culture um, well that doesn't really tell us much either um, let's see, the next I would probably want to do is, actually let's go to the site index. The site index is always the best because it has all the pages in the site. So one of them I would want to do is I wanted to see what research they had, what research links they had. So here we are, research, I'm going to click research, and no research. Okay. So, let's see, how about research resources? Okay, so here we have find education reform organizations and websites that offer resources and support for your state and nationwide, your state or nationwide. So again, not really any research per se. I mean, links to research, but that's really it. They don't prove, provide any research themselves. And I didn't see a bibliography page, so let's look at um, let's look at research spotlight. Okay, so let's see what. Oh, nope, not found. Let's try another one. Uh, the fact the students learning study finds issued a report that's not a report is not a study a study would have to be in an actual um, peer-reviewed research journal so Brookings Institute again um, these none of these are actually in peer-reviewed journals so they're not really studies so those don't really count let's try this uh, That's from the ACT testing s service. Again, none of these are actually in peer-reviewed research journals, so they don't really have much for research there. So, and then some of those links uh, didn't even didn't even come up. Yeah, like some of these up here, these newer ones, or those older ones, newer ones. There's not even anything coming up. So. Uh, let's see, is there anything? I would like to know about the people who work here. Um, so let's see who the president is. Here they have teachers unions, teachers unions, the NEA and the AFT. So let's take a look at like that. Dog eats AFT homework, opinion journal, opinion. Uh, there's just a teachers' union deliberately skewed data against charters. 
why we call it the blob, uh, of course, teachers' unions. Um, so they have articles on teachers' unions. I'm not sure why they would be so interested in that if they're interested in reforming education. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. President Jean Allen. Uh, there's no documents for her. Hmm. Uh, when I click about... Huh. Well, let's see if there's anything here. No. Oh, here's about CER. So here we are. Uh, the mission, cultures, for education, and the respected focal of advocate. Here is regu regularly by media outlets for commentary, research, and analysis on a range of education issues. So they're very concerned about their media coverage, but uh, not really about their research because they don't do any actual research. So here's Jeannie Allen. Uh, she does appear as she was a president, is the founder and president of Center for Education Reform, a national advocacy organ based in Washington, D.C. Uh, media bullpen. So she's a publisher, but that's about it. She has no, uh, it doesn't even look like she has a degree. Um, she wants world-class, advancing world-class technological innovations. Um, she's a recipient of the Education Industry Association's Friend of the Education Industry Award. So she's a friend of the education industry, uh, which is ironic. And then, yeah, basically she has no degree in anything. It's hard to know. So this would not really be a legitimate website. Uh, or would she be someone who would be a legitimate expert? So, um, so yeah, this website really wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to use this as a source of credible information about education. Okay? So that's how you tell. You look at who the people are running it. You look at what research they've done. Is the research done in a peer-reviewed journal? If it's just reports issued by think tanks like them, that's not research. Okay, research requires peer review. It requires repeatability. It requires experimentation. That's not what they're doing. This is Michael Linden, and I am the Learning Engineer.